boy accidentally found a strange egg. He repeatedly looked at it carefully and then took out a knife and stuck it into the egg. Then he pried open the shell and found that the inside of the egg shell was blue. Now the boy was completely confused, but he did not have time to study it carefully. He heard his mother shouting. He had to put down the knife and leave. However, just as he left the strange egg moved. In the evening, lightning flashed and it started to rain heavily. The boy suddenly remembered the strange egg. He ran to the warehouse in the rain. But as soon as he pushed the door into the house, he saw the egg shell spilled all over the floor. It was obvious that something inside had been hatched. At that moment, there was a noise from the container next to him. The boy slowly stood up in fear. He was brave enough to go forward to check, but found a strange creature in the corner. He tried to reach out and touch it. However, the little creature was quite aggressive. The boy took out something to feed him. The little monster also realized that there is no danger and ate a lot of food. After eating, it also did not forget to show cute. Tim saw it and decided to adopt it. The next day, Tim came to the warehouse again to see the monster. At this time, the house was in a mess. My god, this little monster is quite destructive. Even the pure cowhide shoes were chewed off a piece. Obviously he was starving, so Tim ran to the kitchen and brought in a bucket of leftovers. The little monster was so happy to see the food that he went right into the trash and ate it. Tim took the book and Saturday aside to read it. After the picture comparison, we know that this little monster may be the legendary Loch Ness Monster. Tim saw that it was a little dry after eating, so he poured water into the bucket. The little monster swimming in the water is very happy. It seems that it likes water very much. This day, the little monster was too hungry. He ran to the house to find food, but he ran into a dog and ran away. Luckily, the dog was tied by a leash, so the little monster was lucky to escape. Tim just entered the house and heard his sisters screaming from upstairs. Tim rushed to stop her and told her the secret of the little monster. He asked his sister to keep the secret for him. However, the little monster will scream whenever it is hungry, which attracts the servant who is passing by. The little monster showed his head and startled him, but the servant seemed to have heard the legend of Ness Monster, so it promised to keep the secret together. But this day, Tim forgot to lock the door. The little monster sneaked out. Then it came to the pond and saw the goldfish inside. He was so excited that he jumped right in. By the time everyone found it, it was already as big as a cow. Now it is certainly impossible to be hidden, so they had to pull him to the lake and prepare to release him. This is a piece of water that no one dares to enter. Two old men came here to fish in a boat without fear of death. Suddenly the fish hook was bitten tightly. The companion saw the situation and rushed to get the net ready to fish. But the next second, a strange creature burst out of the water. Directly the man was shocked. He hurriedly gestured to his companion that there was a monster in the water. The result is that his companion did not believe. And then their boat on the surface of the water fast driving experience of passion. Finally they cut the rope to stop the boat. And not far from Ness monster is jumping. The two men rushed back to town and said there was a Ness monster in the lake. But no one believed them all thought they were mistaken. But Tim heard the news and rushed to row a small boat to look for Ness monster. But he shouted for half a day. But the lake still did not move. Just as he was about to leave, suddenly a figure appeared behind him. Tim was dumbfounded by the size of the figure. It had only been a few days, but Nas Monster had grown into a huge thing. He rubbed his head against Tim's intimately. Then he let Tim ride on his back and took him to play in the lake. Then he got into the lake and took him to see the underwater world. But it didn't take long for Tim to get out of breath. He desperately tapped Ness Monster to make him come to the surface. This is more exciting than a yacht ride. One man and one monster had a great time. Just as they were parting, a passing soldier saw the scene. The next day the chief brought his troops to the lake. They were about to fire a cannonball into the lake. Tim went up and tried to stop them but to no avail. Then they fired the shells. And Ness Monster in the lake almost got blown up and got a scare. In the evening, Tim came to the lake with his servants to look for Ness Monster. But the Ness Monster was very violent. Tim almost got hurt. Ness Monster went into the lake with his last vestiges of sanity. And the two people who saw a Ness Monster for the first time in order to convince. The people of the town have been taking pictures at the lake every day since then. But they didn't see Ness Monster for a long time. So they came up with a bad idea. They took a picture with a prop and then faked it to appear in the newspaper. The two of them claimed 
the nest monster was in the lake. The news soon spread to the military camp, so they sent out a warship to capture nest monster, and the dog seemed to smell nest monster and barked at the lake. But the next moment, nest monster peeked out of the water. The lake surface splashed with water. It seems that something is about to come out of the water. The dog saw the situation and kept barking at the lake. The next second a huge thing from the water to reveal its head. The dog was too scared to move. The soldiers not far from now cannot hear the dog barking is very strange. Suddenly the water surface stirred up waves. Nest monster surfaced and roared. They machine gunned the monster and he dove into the water in pain. Then he dived to the bottom of the lake and aimed at the warship and used the impact to overturn it. Then he took the soldier in his mouth and just as he was about to eat him in one bite, Tim shouted as he walked over. As a result, he accidentally fell into the lake. He couldn't swim so he sank straight down. The monster hurriedly threw out the soldier in his mouth to dive into the bottom of the lake to pick Tim up, then swam to the shore and put him on the ground. He gently touched the master's hand with its head. Soon after Tim woke up, he reached out and touched Nest Monster's head. The mother who arrived was shocked by the scene. Just as Tim was about to introduce Nest Monster, suddenly a cannonball hit him. Tim jumped on top of Nest Monster with a run. The shells on the shore kept attacking the lake. Tim directed it to dodge the shells. Every time they dodge is a battle of death. But when they were about to escape from here, a steel net suddenly appeared in front of them and blocked Nest Monster's way. And at that moment, the mother came after them with her troops. Both the monster and the man know that the two of them will never see each other again. Tim was sad to say goodbye to Nest Monster and Nest Monster looked back for a long time and then dived into the bottom of the lake. The Nest Monster jumped up from the lake with a full sprint and crossed the iron net and successfully escaped into the sea. Tim and the others were very happy. From then on, Tim came to the lake every day to wait for Ness Monster. Maybe Ness Monster will never come back. But then Ness Monster surfaced to say hello to Tim. Then he jumped up and disappeared into the sea. If the Ness Monster really exists in Loch Ness and is so cute, do you want to keep one?